Abraham, Isaac, we completed Jacob. And yesterday we had a part one discussion on Joseph. Maybe to brush up our memory, okay. we talked about Psalm 88 and then we discussed about the darkness is something that we that can last a long time even for a believing Christians believers we are not exempted from this that's what we discussed Joseph was in dark periods but he never get discouraged he always sought God he glorified God there is no better place to learn lean learn about the grace of God than in darkness that's what we have seen yesterday during this dark periods God extends his grace and he helps us there is no better place to become a person of greatness than in dark times during these dark times we experience the greatness of God a friend of mine always says experience is the best guru in our lives experience is the best teacher teaches a lot of experience a lot of lessons Joseph in the dark ex period he experienced he had an anubhava of God he experienced the power of God and uh, he had he could taste the sovereignty of God's goodness and then we have seen so he El Joseph allowed God to bless him through other people the Lord bless with him, he showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. God blesses us through others even when we, when we doesn't see it. That's what we stopped. Yesterday we stopped here. We continue part two. How did Joseph cope up with this imprisonment? Yesterday I have very clearly said imprisonment was a new phenomenon for Joseph because he, the people of Hebrews, uh, the, in the Hebraic cultural context, there was no imprisonment. For the first time, Joseph, he went into the prison. So how did he cope up with that kind of imprisonment, darkness, discouraging situation? Joseph honored God in his work as a prisoner. Whatever it may be, the, wherever the place it might be, we need to honor God. And today, work has become a great difficulty. And uh, people who are not able, who, who are very much associated with the office, set up a table and uh, an assistant and maybe a colleagues, uh, a fellowship, a tea break, lunch break, being away from the family, all of them have been shuttered. Today, we are locked down in the home. And a lot of people are doing work from home, it has become a great difficulty. But whatever the place it may be, it might be, we need to honor God. Joseph honored God in his work as a prisoner. And today maybe we need to honor God, whatever the work we do. Even as a preacher, I am locked on. I love to travel around because from the day one, in 1993, when I accepted Christ, I started preaching, traveling around. Even as a young boy in the college, I started going out, preaching. And I cannot survive without preaching. I cannot survive without going out. I'm mostly I'm a traveler. But what, what should I do? I should honor God even as I'm at home. Finding out innovative ways to see how best we can utilize time. Joseph honored God in his work as a prisoner. We see in Genesis 39, 22. So... The warden put Joseph in charge of all those hell in the prison and he was made responsible for all that was done there. Let me tell you, my friends, when we honor God in our workplace, whether it is at home or at office or even if there is no work home, we can honor God. There is no human being who can say that I don't have a work. We all have a work. We need to honor God. When we start honoring God, God brings amazing blessings. Joseph, he started honoring God through his work in that prison. He was made responsible for all that was 
done there in that prison. So when we try to honor God within our own limited time and space, God brings amazing blessings. God honors us. Even Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10, it says, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all might. Whatever we find, even if I preach 15 minutes of sermon, I need to do, I need to honor God, preparing well, composing well, not wasting my time, not wasting the listener's time. When I do as I'm honoring God, it will be effective. Whatever your hands find to do, do it. All your hands. I know sometimes, most of the times, people say busy, 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 no time, no time, no time. But today, God has given enough time, irrespective of the background, irrespective of the work. Everybody has enough time in the hands, apart from a few who are busy in work from home. But many of us have a lot of time. So how do we utilize the time? Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. And God honors it. That's what Joseph did. How did Joseph you know, what, with imprisonment? You know what, you. Joseph had to you know redefine how he measured success. So can you hear all of you, my friends? Are you able to see the screen? Yes, yeah. nice. Okay. Yes. So some of you who join later, please uh, keep your audio in mute. I don't have a time to go back and do everything. We have a limited time. Let me come back to the teaching. Joseph had to redefine how he measured success. And today the organizations make evaluations, individual evaluation, corporate society evaluation, and the spiritual organizations evaluation. But 99% of evaluations are not really biblical. We measure success on the basis of external pseudo-spirituality, external pseudo-progress. But you know, how, how Joseph had to define how to measure success. Genesis 39, 23. The warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. You know, whatever he did, God gave him success. And today, let me tell you, my friends, if we really honor God, if we really come back to God and if we have the desire and passion to honor God, whatever we do, God honors it and God blesses it. Even in this corona situation, in, even in this lockdown situation, some of us don't have a work, some of us have overwork, some of us don't know what to do. But if we try to honor God, and God blesses us. Success was now defined as to how well he served other prisoners. You know, success always need to be defined how we are blessing others. But today, success is defined on the basis of selfish, selfishness. On, on the basis of my pride and my growth, not on the basis of how I am serving others. Christianity is known for service. Success was now defined as to how well he served other prisoners. That's success. I may be failure. Jesus was failure on the cross. The whole world looked at him as a dead man on the cross, but he died for the humanity. He, he gave his life as a ransom for the entire human community. That was the success. And today, if we are able to serve others, our success is measured in the service. Service to other prisoners was probably possibly meal preparation, cleaning cells, and managing other prisoners. You know, he was in the prison. His success might have been measured on the basis of how he prepared meal, how he served others, the poor prisoners, and cleaning the cells. Even now, in this lockdown situation, how, how God is going to measure our success? How we are preparing our meal, and maybe how we are serving others. Of course, we may not be go, able to go out on the streets and serve others, but within the limited time and space and geography, 
we need to snatch every opportunity to serve the humanity, the suffering humanity, people who are really struggling with pain and agony, how best we can serve them, managing other prisoners. You know, today, everybody is a prisoner, irrespective of the background, culture, the context and the religion. Everybody is a prisoner now. They're locked down in the home. The, the other day, the afternoon, a friend of mine is saying, in US, one apartment, when they broke the main door, they found almost more than 10 dead bodies in the apartment. 10 dead bodies, very recently. I think yesterday or today. Everybody is locked down. Nobody knows that there are 10 people dying. So today, everybody is locked down. How are we going to serve them? Managing other prisoners, managing other human beings. How should a Christian define or measure success? Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 10, 31 says, so whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So we, God measures our success on the basis of our desire and passion towards the glory of God. How am I glorifying God? Joseph did all this in that imprisonment. He always glorified God. Success is measured by how much you are glorifying God with your life. Whether it is in the prison or in Fatifa's house as a manager of the house or at home or taking care of his brothers. He, he, he was carrying food to his brothers. He was honestly doing the job, but brothers threw him on the pit. He was honestly doing the job in Fatifa's house, but he was accused as a rapist. Wherever he was, honestly, he was serving God. Success is measured by how much you are glorifying God with your life. And what is the chief end of man? What is the chief end of man? What is the chief end of my life? What is my, the chief purpose of my life? Here it is. Man's chief end is to glorify God and to en enjoy him forever. You know? My chief aim is to glorify God. Whether I preach or whether I stay at home or whether I sleep or whatever I do, the, the chief aim of my life should be glorifying God and to enjoy God forever. Joseph... How did Joseph cope with imprisonment? Joseph had hope because he trusted God to fulfill the dreams before his flowering. He believed God and he understood the dreams of God. Genesis 37, 6 to 8 says, he said to them, listen to this dream I had to his brothers. We were binding shoals of grain out in the field when suddenly my shelves rose and stood upright while your shelves gather around mine and bow down to it. His brother said to him, do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? No, he always remembered his dream. How did Joseph cope up in that lockdown situation? Joseph knew God was watching over him and had circumstances under his control. You know, all the time he made us thinking that God was watching over him and had circumstances under his control. And today, let me tell you, my friends, circumstances are under your control because God is watching over you. And God is always watching over us to fulfill his dreams, ambitions, and his desires through our individual lives. No matter what happened, no matter even if the whole world collapses, God fulfills his sovereign plans through our individual lives. Genesis 39, 31, when the Lord was with him, he showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. Genesis 39, 23, the warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. The Lord was with Joseph in that lockdown situation, in that imprisonment, and God gave him success in whatever he did. Today, let me tell you, my friends, and whatever you do, if your chief aim is to glorify God, God will give you success. No matter what happened, 
God will give us success if our chief aim is to glorify God. The light in Joseph's dark, dark circumstances was, uh, was life was the favor of God resting on him, providing inner peace. The secret of his success was inner peace, the calmness, the serenity, the sacredness, the peace that he enjoyed even in that lockdown situation. Let me encourage you, my friends. Let us enjoy the peace of God. No matter what happened outside, let's never be discouraged, never be worried about what's happening outside. When we read the news, when we see a lot of uh, videos, we get discouraged. But let me encourage you, no matter what happened out there, enjoy the peace of God. Even in this imprisonment situation, let's enjoy the peace of God. Genesis 41 to 23, the summary. The king's cupbearer and baker end up in prison with Joseph and have dreams they had, they do not understand. Joseph offers to seek God's help to interpret the dreams. Joseph's interpretation from God is correct. No, exactly God designs time and he sends people and he is a master planner. Joseph's interpretation, interpretation from God is correct. And Joseph asked the chief comparer to remember him to Pharaoh when he gets released. But he forgot for two years, you know. The lockdown period extended two years. He thought this dream has come out, uh, have come to uh, the reality. He might have expected that the, the, this cupbearer went to the palace. He thought he might give him freedom. But you know, he forgot. Even his lockdown extended almost two years. But now God has remembered him exact same time. More lessons from prison in Genesis 40. Time is 7.22. I have eight more minutes. More lessons from prison in Genesis 40. God puts us where he needs us. Let me tell you, my friends. God puts us where he needs us. Sometimes I wonder why I joined here, why I was working here, why I went here and there. But when I completed my task, I look back and I thank God for such environment where I was able to be a witness for God. God puts us where he needs us. And when the time is over, God takes us away. And we should continue to move and we should continue to enjoy. God kept him in prison. God kept him in Fatima's house so that God may fulfill his greater plans in Joseph's life. The, the connection with the chief cupbearer will become important two years later. Sometimes people come in our life, we don't know why they come, why they promise and why they forget. But no, there will be a day God remembers and God sends aid. God is preparing us for a special mission even when we don't know it. Joseph never knew that he will be such a great man in that strange land, Egypt. But he knows that God has a plan for him. And God is preparing all of us, even in this lockdown situation. God is preparing entire humanity in this pandemic situation. We should not be so critical about it. And I'm so sorry for some of my preachers. I feel pity on them. Several of them started condemning the idolaters. Initially, they started accusing, they started giving, cursing the China, saying that China is such a wicked country, never allowed God's people to preach the gospel, a communist country. That's why God started punishing China. Even I heard a lot of preachers preaching. It's nonsense. We should not interpret God's word in such a way. And recently now started, people started interpreting God is uh, bringing judgment in India because Indian, India is filled with idolatry. It is nonsense. We should not interpret God's word in such a way. No, God is sovereign. And it is, it is a human misery, human failure. I don't think so. It is God has designed it. No, not at all. It is a natural calamity that has come because of the human uh, misery. God is preparing all of us, even in this pandemic situation, for a special mission, even when we don't know in these circumstances. Once the lockdown is over, every one of us have a great mission to do. And God is good. 
and he will find a way for the humanity to come out of it and god will provide uh, his innovative plans joseph would manage the whole food supply of egypt and the middle east you know joseph an orphan boy like an orphan boy he was there in that lockdown situation a boy who doesn't have anybody around him a boy who doesn't have a proper address he became a, a great blessing a food supply for egypt and the whole middle east who knows some of you listening to me this evening may god may use you as a food supply for the people near you or maybe in india or maybe somewhere else god has blessed us with the resources so that we may become a blessing to others we may become a blessing to others uh, in my conclusion let me say look at this verse in genesis 48 do not interpretations belong to god yes look at this verse in relation to our circumstances and not our dreams we cannot always know the dreams why god puts us in certain circumstances god knows the end from the beginning let me say it again my friends god knows the end from the beginning god knows the end from the beginning of this corona virus maybe in december last week in wuhan china god knows the beginning god knows the end everything is in his control he is sovereign he is powerful he is almighty he raises you up to be a blessing to the humanity we must have faith and trust god in all circumstances no matter what happen we must have faith and trust god in all circumstances in a way that joseph trusted god in in his lockdown circumstances in that betrayal in that jail in that prison the meaning may not be known on earth taking god at hand how do you have faith in times of darkness taking god at hand knowing things will happen as he has said indeed we let me conclude continue tomorrow the part 3 about joseph the attitude of forgiveness in the midst of all that how he was able to forgive his own uh, enemies uh, his own brothers who betrayed him in all the circumstances but let me conclude today this evening here god knows the end from the beginning and god has a special plan and purpose and he selected you and uh, we may be struggling in this lockdown situation even joseph had such a great terrific situation in the prison he was struggling but he believed and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose not just in some times in all things even in this corona situation even in this uh, lockdown situation even in this situation of poverty situation of lacking in the home whatever it may be the financial struggles or maybe insecure feelings and the the the, the, the discouraging situations inside and outside whatever it may be and, and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose and god has a great plan for us without weakening in faith abraham faced the fact that his body was so good to dead since he was about to 100 years old and sarah's womb was also dead yet he did not wear through unbelief regarding the promise of god but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to god being fully persuaded that god had power to do what he had promised let me conclude my friends god fully god had power to do what he had promised god has promised something to each one of us and he is able to fulfill that no matter what happen out there he is going to walk with us and we have a mission once this time is over this lockdown may continue maybe one year two years the situation may be three years or four years whatever it may be god is able to keep us safe and he is able to help us let me pray for you father we thank you today lord this evening thank you for reminding us that you are able to provide 
you are sovereign. Help us to manage this lockdown situation. Help us to cope up with this corona situation. Thank you for all of these of my friends. Bless them, encourage them, motivate them, guide them, provide all the needs spiritually, physically, financially. Some of them may be really struggling to arrange uh, things. Father, I pray, let your peace may prevail in every one of my friends' home. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Uh, thank you, friends. I think we have uh, two, three more minutes. We can uh, say bye-bye and uh, if you have anything to share, we all can pray for you. I unmuted all of you. Uh, thank you for joining. Tomorrow evening we join again. Video, video, video symbol in there. Today. Ah, yes, uh, Raj. చెప్పండి <laughs> ్రదర్ శశికుమార్ గారు కొంచెం మాడతారా అందరినీ మ్యూట్ చేశాను బ్రదర్ శశి కెన్ యూ అన్మ్యూట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ టాక్ ఐ థింక్ హీస్ లెఫ్ట్ రాజ్ Rajkumar, you are there? Tamadu Prakash? Yes, Tana. How are you? Yes, Tana. How are you? Yes, Tana. Ah, yeah, he went out. Uh, how is Mumbai? Uh, we hear a lot of stories. <laughs> we are fine, Tana. Doing well, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks for joining. Thank Can you, Tana. Okay. Thanks, nice station. Really good. Redefining the success. సో ఎనిబడి హ్యాస్ ఎనీ ప్రేయర్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆర్ ఆల్స్ వీ విల్ కంక్లూడ్ దిస్ వీ విల్ క్లోజ్ మేబీ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ అదర్ వర్క్ యూ కెన్ ఎగ్జిట్ Two of them have joined now. The mm -hmm. Joseph and the sister. Yes, brother. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, brother. Okay, brother. Thanks for joining. But we just completed our teaching session. We are just about to exit. Yes, brother. 7 to 730. Okay. Yeah. Just exactly 7 o'clock we are starting and 730 we close. Yeah. Maybe 730, 735 we are, we are ending up. So thanks for We, joining. I'm, okay, please tell okay. me. Okay. I'm the relative of Devraj Patula. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. Ah good yeah. good good. Okay. Nice. I am his sister person. Oh really? Oh that much yeah. uh, you have become so big ah. Huh? No, no, just 10th standard. 10th standard. Yeah, that's what I know when you were very small I heard but I never saw. I yeah. could, I could hear from your grandmother. Do you want to see her? Yeah, 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 please. Uh, show her. Uh, okay, can... one second. Yeah. Uh, Mama. Okay. She went now only washroom. 
okay no problem you just uh, call me on whatsapp later yeah yeah uh, i can take your number from whatsapp group brother yeah yeah 8309511 uh, yeah in whatsapp group it is there group admin you can find okay bro hello okay bro hello yes hello please uh, one 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 prayer request yes brother you are working with, uh, are working with karuna we are on the front line i am okay. dr i am dr benjamin i am a radiation oncologist at hyderabad okay yeah and working day and night with cancer patients here so okay. pray for us pray for us we are in a difficult situation pray for us because we don't have adequate equipment for ourselves to be protected and we don't know who who we are going in i mean going in contact with so pray for us the entire team that we are working here in the hospital yeah. yes Yes, doctor. Your name here it shows Mamata, but doctor. That's my wife's name. Yeah. And I'm Dr. Joseph Benjamin from Hyderabad. Joseph. My doctor. name. Yeah. Joseph Benjamin from Hyderabad. Uh, yeah. I'm an. Yes, brother. Yes, doctor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We will pray. Yeah. Father, we thank you for Dr. Joseph and uh, Dr. Mamata, and we pray for them as their his entire team is in the front line working. Father, we pray that your protection be upon them. Lord, we hear a lot of news. Even doctors are really do, um, uh, uh, getting trouble. And Lord, I pray that your protection be upon them. Give them your grace, uh, Lord, Father. Let nothing may happen. And also pray that uh, whomever they touch, they may be healed. I pray that their their service may bring a result for the kingdom of God. And I pronounce your peace, your security, and your grace. Thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayers. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, doctor. We continue to pray for you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, friends, for Hello. joining. Yeah. Hello. Yes, brother. Hello. Those who are matter. Ah, ma David Bob Gora, America niche matter thena. David Bob Gora chhod. Aha. America niche. Philadelphia. Kilsa. David Bob. Philadelphia. I think uh, Philadelphia. Name. Kilsa. Ah, right, right. Ah, right, 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 right. You are also in the login loan nado. Okay, Joseph. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, brother. Ah, Joseph. Oxar, na kuch zubis tarame video. David Garu. Uh, okay. How okay. are you, brother? Okay. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, born aro. Born aandi. Ah, uh, deliver la kal sir. Ah, right, right. Na kuch chhinde. Ah, Joseph. Ah, Bible study. Bible study. Aun aun, aun aun, numero. జోసఫ్ మా బ్రదర్ ఇన్ లా వాళ్ళ సిస్టర్ మా వైఫ్ అనమాట అదే గుర్తు పోతున్నాను గానీ గుర్తు వచ్చింది అదే మీరు ఇప్పుడు ఇంత ప్రీవియస్ స్టడీస్ ఉంటే నాకు ఫార్వర్డ్ చేస్తే అప్రిషియేట్ నంబర్ ఏంటి ఎయిట్ త్రీ జీరో నైన్ ఫైవ్ డబల్ వన్ ఫోర్ టూ సెవెన్ ఓకే ఓకే అదే నేను మెసేజ్ పెడతాను రైట్ మంచిగా ఉన్నాయి బాగున్నాయి స్టడీస్ ఫస్ట్ టైం అదే జోసఫ్ గారు ఇందాక పెట్టారు నేను సరే తెలిసిన కదా ఎట్లా అంటే వర్క్ లో అంటే చేశారు సో మన ఫ్రెండ్స్ అందరికి మీరు ఒకవేళ ఆన్లైన్ లో కలిస్తే చెప్పండి మాట్లాడుతున్నాము అదే కలవలేము కానీ బట్ అవును కదా జాన్ వాళ్ళతోటి ఆ గ్రూప్ తోటి ఆన్లైన్ లో ట్రై చేస్తున్నాము బైబుల్ స్టడీస్ కూడా చేయడానికి ప్లాన్ టు డూ దాట్ మీరు హైదరాబాద్ లో ఉండేది నేను ఉండేది హైదరాబాద్ లో అండి నేను జాన్యువరి ట్వంటీ సిక్స్త్ వచ్చాను ఇంటికి వచ్చేసాను కొంచెం లేట్ అయితే ప్రాబ్లం అయ్యారు కరెక్ట్ కరెక్ట్ అవునవును 
అంటే ఇక న్యూయార్క్ లో ఎక్కువ బాగా ఉన్నది మన దగ్గర కూడా థర్టీ థౌసండ్ పైన ఉంది మా స్టేట్ లో ప్రార్థన చేయండి నాకు అది మర్చిపోకుండా స్టడీస్ పంపగలిగితే నాకు ఇవాళ ఇవాళ పంపారు జోజం గారు షుడ్ బి ఏబుల్ టు జాయిన్ అన్లెస్ ఐ మీన్ మీటింగ్ హియర్ షుడ్ బి ఏబుల్ టు జాయిన్ హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్ కదా చెప్పండి పర్లేదు నేను జాయిన్ అవుతానులేండి జాయిన్